Okay, now we're going to work on our comments and replies. So the first thing we're going to do is hop into our service for post. And we're going to add a new method. And this is going to be to get a comment. We are going to add a overloaded method. And we are also going to want to, so where we're getting include the comments and then we're including the comments of the comments. We also want to add in another then include. At this point, it'll be a reply. We want to include the replies parent. So we're done with the service now. Let's go on over to our post view model. And we're going to add on to this we're adding this because as we're viewing our post and we submit a comment then we want to be able to store that in this okay so the next thing we can do is let's go into our views and extend our post index in our post we want to hold all of the post comments below the post so I've already gone and created the HTML for this so I'm just going to copy and paste it in here and you can pause the video and copy it and I'll speak a little bit to some of the things that I did in this okay so I created a new row under that row a header for it I'm letting the user know that there's this many comments in this UL, I am reusing the tag helper that we created. I'm passing in the list of comments, and I'm setting the count to zero so that this will only display in the case that there are comments. And then just inside of this, I'm iterating over all of the comments for the post, but I am doing a where clause on that the parent is null. Uh, we iterate over the top level comments and we create a list item, uh, do some styling on it, created a comment body, which we'll go over the CSS for this in a moment. Put the person's first and last name here, setting the created on date, the content, and then I'm doing a check on whether or not the user looking at these comments are authenticated or not because if you remember we do allow anonymous so we're checking if they're authenticated if they're not authenticated then we say login to reply we direct them to the login with a return url otherwise we have this link to uh, allow them to reply and what this link is doing it's toggling this collapse where the id is equal to reply comment and the comment id now that's where this comes in again we're doing a check on whether or not the user is authenticated if they are then we will allow this to live inside the view so if they are authenticated and they click this link then this will appear we have a form that goes out to post and comment for now which we'll create in a moment we're putting the post ID as read only and hidden we also have input for the comment.parent ID where the value is equal to this comment ID and that is also read only and hidden and then we just have a section for you know write a reply and then the text area and then the post button. And then below that, we have another list. We're also using our tag helper where we're actually passing in the comments to the comment. So the nested comments, we're setting it to zero. So that way, you know, if that isn't satisfied, this won't display. And then we're iterating over each nested comment. Now this is a reply to the comment. And then we basically repeat similar to what we did up here. We repeat first name, last name, date, and then the content. And we don't allow for any more replies below 
this second level. Below all of that, we then check if they are authenticated again. If they aren't, we supply them with this link to log in to comment on the post and then bring them back to this post. If they are, then we give them a form for creating a comment where we're just setting the post ID and read only hidden. Notice that unlike this one, we're not setting the parent ID because it doesn't have a parent. This belongs to the post. It's a top level comment. With all of that, we're also going to need a section for scripts. I found this online. It's essentially just a toggle that helps you display or hide this. All right, and because we're using the script section, that means we're using this home layout. We need to come over to our shared home layout. We just need to add in the render section for scripts. Acquired will equal false. Okay, so now, as promised, uh, we'll go over our CSS where we have our custom classes. I just put that directly inside of the cleanblog.min CSS, and I will just paste in here for you to pause the video and copy it over as needed. Okay, so that takes care of our index for our post. Let's go into our business manager. We'll start by, so we have this create post. We're going to create a method for create comment. It's going to return an action result because we want to do some checks on some of the parameters that are passed in. So the first check we want to do is whether or not the post is null. All right, so now that we know that our post ID is not null, we can go ahead and call our post service to get the post. Okay, now that we've requested the post, we will check if the post is null. And if so, we're gonna return not found result. Now let's get our comment from the post view model. And then let's set some things up. We're going to set the author, we're going to set the post, and we're going to set the created on. Now is where we want to find out whether or not this comment was a top level comment. So essentially if this comment has a parent or not. So all we have to do is just check whether or not the parent is null. So if the parent is not null, in this case, we want to set the parent and then call our post service to our new method of get comment and we'll pass in that parent ID. And at this point, we can just add the comment and return it. So I'll do all that on one line. Now let's just add this to our interface. Now we can go into our post controller and we will create another post method to be similar to this. So because we're getting a action result back, so I'll just copy that and now I'll call it comment. We're taking in the post view model. I will rename this. I will change this call to the create comment. Instead of redirecting to edit, we'll redirect to index. We're still passing in the post ID. In fact, that should be everything we need. Let me check, make sure we didn't miss anything here. Okay, and let's run it, see what we got. Okay, so we come in here, we see our post content. We see zero comments and we see a link to log in to comment on this post because we are currently not logged in. 
click that, we see that we're brought to the login page with the return URL of post to two. Okay, so I'm going to log in. We're brought back to our post, and we still see zero comments, but we now have the ability to make a comment. So. They're so excited to see our post of wow. Okay, so now we see we have one comment. In fact, you know, if you want, you can go ahead and fix this up to where if it's singular, the S doesn't show up. I'll leave that up to you. So it has my name, has the time it was posted. Uh, let's see. So let's do another one. Okay, so now that we've reread the post, we realize, oh man, this sucks. This post, it's not what I originally thought it was. Um, and after rereading it, uh, I'm not so excited about it. Um, it's very controversial, and uh, you shouldn't even be allowed to have a blog. So, post that. Okay, and now, uh, let's see. Now we're going to make a response to this comment. Post it, and we see. There it is. And our number of comments keep climbing. Okay, perfect. So that's our commenting system. And that about wraps it up.